Ni hao. Number one, Great Wall Chef is back because today we are doing my take on beef and broccoli. We've done several different Asian recipes in the past and honestly, if I was half of a taller, I'd be meeting a different Asian girl every day of the week and she'd be cooking this for you guys. We could do Chinese on Monday, Japanese on Tuesday, Korean on Wednesday, Cambodian on Thursday. There is limitless, limitless. But hey, look, a lot would be happening if I was half a toe. We could have the whole month of United Nations. All right, guys, let me, let's get back to the ingredients. I lied. We're actually making beef and cauliflower because broccoli isn't that good for you. And we want this to be minimally inflammatory. Uh, so we have all organic ingredients here for the most part. For the beef, we're using a ribeye from Frankie's Free Range Meat. You could also use flank steak or skirt steak. I decided to go with ribeye. We have some beef stock, AKA collagen broth as well. A few typical Asian ingredients. We're using coconut aminos instead of soy sauce. We're using fish sauce instead of oyster sauce. We're using organic cooking wine and organic rice vinegar. For the veg, we have the cauliflower I showed you guys. Some ginger garlic scallions. I mean, basically every single Asian recipe almost has ginger, garlic, and scallions, AKA green onions in them. Same with sesame seeds. And we have some of our new pure ocean salt from Frankie's True Range Meat. Uh, the substitutions that I mentioned are the coconut aminos, the fish sauce. This is reducing the inflammation a little bit because soy sauce is soy and oyster sauce is made from shellfish, usually more polluted. Honestly, if you want to be careful, I would omit the fish sauce and I should honestly probably omit it, but we're going to give it a shot. And usually they use sesame oil in a lot of these recipes. We're going to use a little bit of organic liquid coconut oil instead. Uh, you could use butter as well. That's far less inflammatory than the sesame oil. And for the prep, there's three components, guys. We need to marinate the beef. We need to make the stir fry sauce and we need to chop the vegetables. So for the beef marinade, we have a third of a cup of our coconut aminos, two tablespoons of our organic Chinese cooking wine, two tablespoons of organic rice vinegar, and a tablespoon of organic sugar. You could also use like honey. You know, we have the new ones on Frankie's Shoe Range Foods. This is just a lot easier to, to mix in the sugar. Sometimes the honey is kind of sticky. Some of you guys might've noticed the wet stones in the back. Our sharpening video last week was successful because we filleted our finger open. So the knife is definitely sharp enough. So these are the ribeyes we sell on Frankie's Shoe Range Meat, 100% grass fed. Usually they have pretty decent marbling. We cut them very thick and it's actually the last week of our moving sale. So if you guys want to get a good discount, now's the time. We're just going to slice the whole ribeye fairly thin. So after I go down the steak and, and cut the slices, I'm just going to make this bite size and manageable. So we'll do like three cuts to have nice small pieces of steak. So we'll get our steak in this marinade, mix it up nice and well. I mean, ideally a few hours, but most people don't have time for that. So we'll just put this in the marinade and then by the time we finish everything else, it should be good to go. So for the vegetables, we're going to grate the garlic and the ginger, and then the scallions, we're just gonna chop and separate the whites from the greens. So the ginger, I do wanna peel the skin off. You don't have to. I don't know if I should be using a ceramic plate to crush garlic. Seems like a bad idea. So after we peel the skin off the garlic, I just take my microplane. I do have another grater, but I don't know what I did with it. That would probably be a little faster. This is kind of nice because you literally have like a garlic paste that's gonna melt into the, um, into the sauce. So we got two cloves of garlic grated. We're gonna do the same amount of ginger. All right, let's try to not grate our own fingers, Frank. So I didn't show you guys the vegetable cleaver last week on the sharpening stone. I should have, because this thing is so easy to sharpen. You just put the whole thing on the stone and it's just really fast and easy. All right, guys, so that's our vegetable prep. We have our grated garlic and ginger and our whites of our scallions chopped up. So we got the greens of the onions off to the side for garnish later. And now we're going to chop the cauliflower into florets. So for cauliflower, I like to quarter it and then cut the core out. 
and then for the most part usually have florets. Then after you quarter the cauliflower, you kind of just go in there with your hands and you can pull it apart. So if the pieces are reasonably small like this, like these are good, these are good. But when you have the larger pieces, you want to make sure that you cut them so that it cooks evenly. Because if you have this giant piece of cauliflower in there with these smaller pieces, it's not going to cook properly. Yeah, so now these bigger pieces, depending on the size, you have to chop them in half or quarter them. So this one in half, the big boy, we'll quarter it. All right, all the vegetables are ready to go. Now we're gonna make our stir fry sauce. So I'm doing this on the stove top just because my stock isn't completely melted. Oh, no, I guess it was just really collagenous. So, okay, we don't really have to warm it up that much. It's supposed to be three quarters of a cup of beef stock collagen broth, quarter cup of soy sauce, AKA our coconut amino substitute, tablespoon of sugar, and then we want one tablespoon of our fish sauce. So as I said, this isn't getting cooked. We're just gonna stir this up and put it on the side for when we're ready to use it. So we have our nonstick skillet on medium high heat. We're gonna add a bit of oil to this. So we got some smoke coming off the pan. So we just want a little color caramelization on the beef. No more than like 30, 40 seconds in the pan. Just a little bit of color on that. Then we're gonna put another tablespoon of oil in the pan and get our vegetables in here. So we're gonna start deglazing this with our stir fry sauce. And that sauce is gonna absorb all the flavors from the beef caramelizing as well as the ginger, scallions, and garlic. So now we can get our cauliflower in here. Now we're gonna add most of our stir fry sauce. And cover this until the cauliflower is cooked. In the meantime, I will toast some sesame seeds on the side here. Not that big of a deal to just have some sesame seeds as garnish. Uh, the bigger issue is the sesame oil is like really concentrated with plant fats, which is throws off the omega ratio. Now, if you go to get beef and broccoli in a Chinese restaurant, there's gonna be a lot of crap in it. You know, more vegetable seed oils, they use MSG, cornstarch, a lot of things you really shouldn't be eating. So although we've done some very healthy substitutions here, like the soy sauce for the coconut aminos, there's also a lot of really negative things that we completely omitted. So even if you just do a regular beef and broccoli recipe in your own home with non-organic ingredients, conventional stuff from the grocery store, it's still way healthier than uh, what you're gonna get in the restaurant. As I almost burned my sesame seeds. So we've been going for about 10 minutes now. I like to use a fork to test it. If the fork can kind of go through somewhat easily, it's done, but we're not there yet. See like some of these smaller pieces? They're pretty much cooked, but the bigger pieces have a little while to go. Cauliflower is pretty much cooked, so we're gonna keep the lid off and reduce the liquid. We don't need the rest of this stir fry sauce. We had some extra because we used the whole jar of beef stock. Now, if you're gonna eat all of this immediately, like if it's for your family, you probably wanna reduce this sauce to almost a glaze. If you can't eat it all at once and you're gonna have leftovers, you wanna leave some liquid because as this sits overnight in the fridge a day or two, a lot of that liquid's gonna be absorbed. So just keep that in mind at this step. Uh, we're gonna add the beef back because I do not plan on eating this uh, all at once. So now all that's left to do is just mix everything together and warm the beef back up. I mean, that looks perfect, guys. Now we just have to garnish. So we have our green onions on top. And we have our sesame seeds.
So there we have it, guys. That's my take on beef and broccoli, beef and cauliflower with all organic ingredients. So I got a big plate of rice here, courtesy of my Yum Asia rice cooker. And I really do need a bigger plate for this amount of food, but we're going to wing it and get stuff everywhere. Great. All right, was it worth staying up three hours on a Friday night? Beef has nice flavor. Flavors are good. Needs way more salt. I didn't put any salt in this. And that's good, especially for my health right now. Your liver health, kidney health is better not to salt it, but take this up to the next step. Put a little bit of salt in everything. You'll probably like it a little more, but outside of that, it's really, really good. I'm going to really enjoy this for dinner tonight. But that's going to be it for the video, guys. If you think this looks good, definitely try it for yourself or your family. It's amazing. A lot of these Asian recipes with those ingredient combinations usually turn out very, very good. You guys can go to frank com if you'd like to support me through my businesses. Ribeye steaks, collagen broth, and salt are all on frankiesfreerangemeat.com. And hey, maybe we'll be selling rice in the future too with an arsenic disclaimer on it, right? Uh, but as usual, if you guys could drop a like on the video, leave a comment down below. Make sure to subscribe and check that notification bell. A few things on my Amazon shop, guys. We got the rice cooker on there, the knives, a whole bunch of stuff if you want to check it out if you need some more stuff for your kitchen. Thanks again, guys. See you soon.